friends today i am going to solve problem on tapered rectangular board which is subjected to axial load let's get start let's read out the problem the extension in a rectangular bore steel bore of length so you can see here so it's a 400 mm length and of 10 mm thickness so this is the thickness is found to be 0.21 mm so you can see here okay it's a delta l means after you apply the force p so okay it gets extended of 0.21 mm okay so that is we called delta l change in length okay then the ball taper uniformly in width from 100 mm to 50 mm you can see here the width of the ball it's initially it's 100 mm so as it goes so which hence from uh, uh, it's around 50 mm okay so this is what taper means it tapered from 100 mm width to the 50 mm width so you can see here in the diagram okay then what else and if e for the bar is 2 by or 2 into 10 to the power of 5 newton mm square so Young's modulus is given here and determine axial load on the bar so this is what we need to find out okay so now let's start the problem so first list out what are all given data okay so what are what are the things they given the given is delta l that is change in length so this is the value point two one mm okay then length original length so that is 400 mm okay then what else given so thickness also given thickness is 10 mm okay then what else given this they given a that is 100 mm and b it's 50 mm okay you can see here so this is the starting point that is a 100 mm and it's a hand point is b so that is 50 mm so that is the uh, taper of the bar okay and Young's modulus that is he they given 2 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square okay so these are all given data okay so from this data how we can find out p okay so we know that so we know that okay, tapered rectangular bar which is subjected to axial load okay delta L can be expressed as P into L divided by ET A minus B okay and log of A by B so this is the formula we use to find the change in length when it is subjected to axial load so condition is I'll just repeat the condition is for tapered rectangular bar okay which is subjected to axial load so we will be using the formula to find the change in length so that is that is what I written here that is delta L equal to PL by ET A minus B into log of A by B okay fine so now let me substitute all data here so 
so that is 0 0.21 into so p is unknown that we need to find out and so 400 e is uh, x modulus 2 into 10 to the power of 5 and uh, thickness they given okay So what else they given and here also given 100 minus B is 50 okay and ln of 100 divided by 50 okay so now we need to find the P I'll just uh, bring P uh, left side okay So when I bring P left side, then 0 0.21 into 2 into 10 to the power of 5 into 10, then this 100 minus 50 divided by 400. So 400 comes down, okay. Then what is left? So ln of, so sorry this has to come down okay so I'll just uh, so I'll just read it sorry sorry so it's ln of 100 by 50 okay then again by simplifying this so we will be getting value of 5 to 500 into and this value that means uh, this 1 by ln so it can be written as 0.6931 okay and by simplifying this so we will be getting the value is 75 Seven four one ten. Okay. So this one we can also return as in kilonewton that is seventy five point seven four one kilonewton. Okay. So this is the force we applied here to extend point zero to one mm okay so just put it in so this is the value hi friends if you find this is helpful, please like and share to the friends. Thanks for watching.